Hey guys, it's me Tanuj back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to review Pixel Experience OS on my OnePlus 6 and would we'll talk about its pros, cons and stability. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, as you can see, this is my OnePlus 6 running on the latest Pixel Experience OS version. So let me show you by going into the settings, system, about phone. As you can see Android version 9.0 out of the box then Android security patch level is of 5th January 2018 currently the latest one and many ROMs still haven't tested this version so it's pretty good that the maintainer of this ROM Akash gave this update so early as we go back and uh, check gestures in gestures uh, column what we get is top pixel feel like gestures in which it's a jump to camera in which we press the power button twice in order to redirect us to the camera application and it's actually pretty fast and accurate and as we go to the swipe up on home button which is again simply android key gesture navigation like this and lastly but not the least prevent ringing in which if we press power button and volume up button together, it vibrates our phone. And uh, from this, as we go on our next point, which is the alert slider. So yes, alert slider even works fine. Then again, as we go back and go into display mode, in which it shows us two options, high brightness mode, in which it maximizes your brightness level and second is panel mode which you can use your own panel mode like SRGB mode, night mode, adaptive mode and one mode. So for now I have selected SRGB mode and uh, as we talk about the display this we get uh, device key for now because the battery level is on currently dark key has been uh, set Then we get the option automatic which is based on volume. So if your wallpaper is dark, it will change the thing to uh, dark color and if it's light, then it will change to a white color. So for now I've selected dark because I like it. Then let's go to ambient display and uh, select the now play. It shows us this new option which is pretty good. This, if uh, you are listening to a song and you don't know its name then uh, it can suggest you that this uh, song is from this movie or else from this album and uh, it's pretty accurate and this uh, function can even work uh, in offline so that's great but uh, the downfall of this function is that it drains a heck of uh, battery from our phone then digital well-being again uh, it's ported and works surprisingly good then as you go to the home here we get is uh, the pixel launcher which is if i'm not wrong a ruthless pixel launcher then as we swipe left we get the google news feed and in camera we don't uh, sadly we don't get the gcam but uh, our oneplus stock camera app which works pretty great in every situation pro modes work uh, fine and uh, in portrait mode the selfie portrait mode only works for now the rear one doesn't work so in all if you want to use the rear portrait mode you can uh, install gcam and use it and the results are really great then uh, if we click on wallpapers here we get our uh, stock pixel 3 like wallpapers there are even live wallpapers like this so let me show you so yes they are pretty good then as we come to the gaming experience I have to say the gaming experience was fantastic and I didn't saw any lags in this ROM for now 
it worked pretty well for me and i hope for you guys too it works fine so here is a sample of me playing pubg So yes, it was uh, pretty much everything which I tried to cover. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, then please click on that thumbs up. And if you guys want to watch more of it, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm Tanuj signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Till then, peace.